Hey guys, this is Agrum again, and um, today I'm going to show you the theory behind um, the French house bass lines. As you know, the French house bass lines are usually moving really fast, and they have that groovy feeling, they have that dynamic feeling, and to replicate that, you have to, under to understand how a French house bass is made to the core. So, I have these chords, which are the Voyager chords. Okay, so what we will start with is to take the root notes, so this, this, this three, and I will copy them like this, control V in the bass. The bass is just a triangle wave here with a little bit of frequency, so it sounds like this. Really simple, right? So we have the root notes here. Okay, so the first, first thing first, uh, what you have to do is when you create a bass is to create um, one octave up because you will struggle a little bit to understand what you're what you are doing with an octave down because the frequencies are not your ear is not really accurate when you are working with really low frequencies so the advice i can give you is to work um, an octave up so you are more accurate with what you are doing so the theory behind um, the French house bass lines is that I will have to move from a root note to another and I have to treat my bass like a solo guitar, all right? Okay, so the first part, we have this little gimmick. I will put the filter up so you can hear it more clearly, like that. All right, so we came from here to here, okay? So what I used here are the seventh, the octave, the fifth, and we go back here. And then I used the syncopate with this note. So you have that bouncy, um, that bouncy feeling and I separate it with an octave up, so it will um, create a transition between the two bounce uh, syncopat uh, notes. So when you have this, you have to do it on every root note. You have to be creative, you have to, to understand how you can integrate that solo guitar feeling into a groovy bass line. It, it has to be um, minimalistic in a way, but on the other hand, you have to be uh, picky on the notes you are playing and you have to be aware that the more complex the bass is, the more space it will take, all right? So if you want to make a complex bass, you have to make a minimalistic track. And if you want to make a full track with lots of elements, you will have to go on a minimalistic bass. This is... Um, a balance you will have to find in your songs. Adding things just to add things without without a purpose and without an, a balance in your track will just bloat it and it will be really overwhelming for the listener. So this is my, my advice uh, for a bass playing in your song. <laughs> 